All right, y'all. So here we are with a, a mobile home makeover. I'm going to be working in my bathroom. As you can see, I have some staining on the um, cabinets here and my countertop has been peeling. It has been doing this ever since I did it. It didn't seal very well. I just cannot stand it anymore. So it is time to go ahead and redo it. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on this today. Hopefully this will give you some motivation to transform something in your home. So I'm starting out with the Stitchy Strip. I love this stuff so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this all over the countertop and this is going to take off all of that paint that I had put on there. So I did do a faux granite type um, countertop here, but it didn't seal very well and it was just peeling right away and I just, didn't care for it. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off. Um, also, as you can see, if you see my sink, y'all, I did burn it with my curling iron, but it's okay because, of course, it's going to get replaced. So is the um, faucet. So we will be getting a new sink and faucet eventually. I cannot wait. Um, but for right now, I just want to work on the countertop. So eventually, we are going to be doing a wood countertop like we have in my um, kitchen. But I just cannot stand this any longer, and I need to go ahead and um, do something with it. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and do this. It is going to be a lot of work, y'all. But I just, I just, like I said, I cannot stand it any longer. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the countertop and let that sit. I'm just applying a very good amount to the top and then I'm gonna let it sit and then I'm gonna go ahead and work on my cabinets. Now, um, I did paint my cabinets, um, the bottom cabinets actually black and I love it because um, my husband likes to stain them when he gets home and he's like washing his hands when he gets home from work and he just, my um, cabinet stain because he is a mechanic y'all and it just, it just stains very easily. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do the black in the bathroom as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll work on that now. So after I let this sit, I'm going to go ahead and start painting my cabinets black. So this is what the countertop looks like at the moment. I just went ahead and put this stuff all over. I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit. Moving on to the cabinets now. As you can see, the, the black marks that it's just stained. So I am going to be ordering new knobs for the kitchen and in the bathroom as well. Um, I just have not made up my mind, y'all. There has been some things that I have actually redone that I'm thinking about redoing, just some color choices in my home. And if I do that, what I'm trying to make sure the color is going to match. So I don't want to just jump into something and buy just something random for now. So I'm just going to use what I have at the moment. And then once I make up my mind, <laughs> order what I want. Um, but yeah, y'all, so eventually all of the knobs are going to be changed as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to be using chalk paint in the color black. It's what I use in my kitchen and the stuff works amazing. I just got it at Walmart and it works very, very good. I used to stay up all night trying to find my place, chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace to leave me out of darkness. You came to me and you gave me reason uh, mm, mm, mm. I almost can't believe it Every time we touch I feel at home There's no way I'd ever let you go When you put your hands in mine I'm gonna be alright I don't know what you do to me But I feel like I am wake up scrape this off so this stuff y'all was so thick on there that um, it's gonna actually take two coats of this so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this 
top layer first and then I'm gonna go ahead and put on some more of the citrus strip and I'll let it sit until I'm done painting the cabinet. I feel then it will be a lot easier to get everything else off. You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. And you can't. Cause you're a work of art You, you should know that you are perfect with those flaws Yeah, you, better step into the light Just give it a try Know that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long so I covered it with trash bags because that is going to help it stay moist and not dry out. That way it'll work a lot better. Um, I usually do that whenever I work with my projects anyways. Just cover them with a trash bag and it just works so much better. So I'm going to go ahead and just let that sit. And I'm going to work on painting the rest of the cabinets now. And I'm sure by that time it will be ready for me to finish scraping and get it all off. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove the trash bags and I'm going to um, scrape off the rest of the countertop. Y'all, this is a very, very, very messy job and I was out of paper towels starting this. I did not have, um, well, I did have some gloves, but this stuff kind of ate through the gloves. No, no good. <laughs> And y'all, this is the night that we had those scary storms. So um, I was getting done with this. And then um, I, we already knew we were going to have some bad storms that night. And, you know, of course, I was watching the radar so I could tell they were getting close. Um, so I was getting, you know, my husband had already went and checked the storm shelter. We all always go and check the storm shelter the day that um, we know we're going to be using it. Because I don't want to be in there with any spiders or anything like that. So I have him go in there and check it and make sure we're good with all of that. And, you know, we, of course, gather, you know, our important stuff as far as like our paperwork and stuff and I gather my medication in my purse and we were getting ready to head you know 
that way because we knew it was getting close. And as soon as y'all, we get the um, severe thunderstorm warning, um, it said destructive storm with 80 mile an hour winds. As soon as we got that, y'all, we hauled the butt to the storm shelter. And on our way there from our living room until the storm room, Y'all, the winds were getting so bad. So we got in there and we shut the door. We could tell it was bad. We just didn't know how bad because, of course, when you're in the storm shelter, you don't realize how bad things are. But, y'all, this was no joke. There were trees everywhere. We lost our gazebo. It was in pieces. My husband's um, tart was wrapped around the tree. Thank God we didn't have any trees fall. We did have some limbs. Um, but other than that, Everything else was fine in our yard, but our neighbors weren't so lucky. They got a lot of um, tree damage. Um, a couple houses down from us had a tree on their house, a huge, huge tree, y'all. And this was just the case everywhere. A lot of people had trees down, all over power lines, live power lines everywhere. We have been without power for a couple days, y'all. And we, the next morning, we woke up and we we thought that maybe we would get power and then after we realized it's not going to be like a couple day thing it's going to be a while before we get power because this is just so bad um we decided the next morning we got up and we were determined to find a generator so we called so many different places and every time we would call a lot of places would answer no we do not have generators can i help you and i was like oh my gosh you know it's it's real um so um, a town next over, we called. They were about to get a truck. They were going to have some on there. They said it's first come, first serve. It's going to be two hours before um, the truck comes. So we get in, everybody ready, my puppies, um, uh, my son, and we head on over there. And my husband stands in line. And sure enough, as soon as he got there, the truck actually ended up being there. He was the third one in line to get one. There were only four generators that came in the truck. He was one of the lucky ones to get one. Um, Y'all, we get it. We come back home. We get food while we're out. As soon as we get done eating, we set up the generator, get it all done. And y'all, 15 minutes after we get that generator going, our power came on, which was crazy. But, you know, we needed it. And I'm sure we're going to need it again. So, Living in Tornado Alley is no joke. Severe storms are always on our doorsteps. So it is something that's good to have. And I'm so glad that we finally have one. But yeah, y'all, we are just so blessed that we're okay. I know, you know, some people weren't so lucky. So um, definitely have all of those people in my prayers. And I do want to say thank you so much for all of your kind words and for praying for me. Um, I just love y'all so much. Y'all are so sweet. Um, and just to see all of you that care, it just means so much to me. Um, but yeah, y'all, that's why I've been in my A and I'm going to be, um, busting my butt and trying to get y'all more content out now and try to make up for the days. So I talked away. through that last step and I'm sure you're probably wondering what I did and what I used. So after I removed all of the gunk and scraped it off, of course, there's a bunch of residue that's still there. So it's not easy to come off. So what I used was mineral spirit. Mineral spirit is so good at getting that stuff off. Um, you just rub it on there and it wipes it off. Um, you do have to, you know, put some elbow grease into it, but it works really good. So I went ahead and use that and I actually ate through my glove so definitely wear gloves when you're using that um, I did not get any of the other stuff on my hands so just keep in mind if you do use that stuff anything you're working with any of the stuff please wear gloves um, but anyways y'all I'm gonna go ahead and um, clean this countertop off now I do have some comment on here and I'm just giving it a really good scrub in I did wash a paintbrush in my sink here so it left left a bunch of black residue on the sink as well so it definitely needed a really good scrub in so I'm gonna go ahead and just clean it really good and wipe it all down so y'all this countertop I love that it's white and I kind of want to leave it like that that. but the part that bugs me is the blue so I don't know if I want to just deal with it or not or um, what but I did have this contact paper from my older mobile home that I use and um, it was just sitting there and I when I seen that I had this left over I always thought about putting it on top of the countertop for now so that's what I went ahead and did this stuff's kind of tricky but I went ahead and put it on there anyways um, 
and it looks okay. Of course, it's not going to be something I'm going to be living with forever. Um, I may even take it off soon, but I just wanted to see how it looks. But y'all, I am starting to like the color teal. Like I love, I'll always love the color teal. And I kind of stared away with it um, for a couple reasons, but I just love it so much. And now seeing it on the edge of this countertop, I love it. I just think it's so cute. Um, I just don't know how it goes together with the black. So having the white, the teal, and the black. So I just went ahead and just covered it for now. But like I said, eventually we, it's going to be a wood countertop. So it really doesn't matter. But I am starting to love or miss the color teal. Because if you've been here with me for a while, I used to have teal all throughout my house. It was just like an accent color. Um, tell me if I'm crazy because I'm always changing things y'all and that's what just about homemaking you know when you're home and you have to see the stuff all day every day you get used to like a certain color and then you just want to change it or I do anyways um, but that's how I'm feeling I'm missing the teal um, I know the sage green thing has kind of been my thing for a little while but I am really missing the teal so that's been on my mind a little heavy lately trying to figure out if I really want to dab into the teal again or if I should stick with the sage green or what but that's where my head's at right now but anyway y'all I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying this and I'll show you what it looks like um, like I said it's not going to be a permanent thing of course um, I don't know if I'm going to peel it off, but at the end, I, I did like it. It looked really cute, so I'm probably going to just keep it until I've replaced the um, whole countertop, but um, if it starts to peel or anything like that, then I'll just peel it all off, but I just didn't like the three-tone. I didn't like the black, the teal, and the white together, so if it was all white, I think it would look cute. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and finish putting this on and then I'll let y'all see. All right, y'all, so this is end. what it's looking like now. I love it. I love the way that it looks. I actually like it with the, um, the countertop like that as well. I think it'll be a lot prettier when it's wood, but we will get there. <laughs> I do need to, um, of course, I'm going to be painting that light picture, just replacing it all together. And I am going to be getting some adhesive trim to go around this mirror. I think that'll look really cute. Um, but yeah, y'all, so this is what it looks like for now. Um, I still do have a lot to do in here that I'm going to be working on. I'm going to try to get a little bit done here and there. And eventually it's going to be... Um, really cute um but yeah y'all thank y'all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think um but i'm gonna go i'll see y'all in my in next video all right bye y'all did it bring me